Hey, hey, boys and girls of the internet. Good morning. And uh, check this out. So, in my last Ranger video that we just posted the other day, uh, I had someone was mentioning that they had a Splash Ford Ranger back in the day, and I think he said it was stolen, and he never got it back. And, uh, well, this isn't it, but <laughs> ironically enough, we had a Splash truck come in this morning. So I thought we'd all take a minute and look back at this cool little truck. You're looking at a 1994 Ford Ranger Splash Edition. This has got painted to match bumper and trim molding on the bottom. I don't know if the grill, if this was replaced or not, because this is white instead of chrome like the side pieces. So maybe that was painted. But the paint underneath the dust and dirt looks to be in good shape. Maybe we could try cleaning it up if we get time in another video. This splash truck has the 4.0 pushrod V6. Step side bed, which is fiberglass. It does have a busted spot in it right here at the bottom. I'm, I'm sure that could be fixed, but I, uh, I'm not a body man, so I don't know what you can go about repairing that. The rear end is bad in this truck. This axle is sheared off, so you'd have to put your rear end in it. So, splash truck. Down here we have a Golden Strip Ford of Malden, South Carolina. It's got a bumper with a tow, or a bumper with a ball hitch in it. Plastic bed liner with the hooks. got tail light covers sorry if the camera gets shaky here and there I'm trying to avert the bees it's the season for the bees uh, the wheels that are on it I'm not a fan of I don't know if these are swapped out or what but these are just kind of plain looking steel wheels once again step side it's got a sliding rear glass in it it's kind of neat Painted to match mirrors, your standard Ranger badges, three-line pinstripe, and it's multicolor. You've got two that are red, and one black line that runs down the length of the truck. No visor, no window shades, rain guards, whatever you call them, vent shades. That's all right. Chilling with Diamante as we speak. I'm sorry, that's a Galan. It's got a vent shade on this side. This truck has power mirrors, power windows, storage trays. It's got nice looking uh, bucket seats in it. And yeah, it is a five speed manual. This is a overdrive five speed manual with air conditioning, the radio is missing. Battery's dead. You can hear it dinging, but it, it's too dead to start, so. Got Ford floor mats in it. Pretty nice looking headliner. It looks like it's got a spot. Nope, that's what it's made. Rear light. An armrest that isn't broken. Check that out. Look. It's not broken. It's folded up got a storage area that's also not broken that right there is pretty sweet these seats are in awesome shape they don't say splash anywhere that I can see but they're not destroyed 
You've also got power bolster and lumbar labeled right here on the side. Seats are pretty comfy. Missing the owner's manual. Passenger seat looks to be in really good shape too. Sorry about that dinging. Ashtray doesn't fall out, it's not broken either. As I mentioned, five speed manuals, the four with overdrive, got cruise control, intermittent wipers, headlights. This truck has a five digit odometer that's showing 66,244 miles and a fourth or four tenths. You don't count that last number when you're uh, reading the odometer. That is your trip odometer and there is your uh, engine and body odometer that you can't alter. So probably 166,000 miles judging by the condition of the interior. Uh, the dash isn't busted up, the seats aren't all torn up, carpet's in pretty good shape. I would say uh, probably 166,000 miles just for the sheer condition of the inside. Uh, so we've got a five speed manual, two wheel drive, short bed, step side, and the 4.0 push rod V6, not the terrible overhead cam three timing chain stupid designed engine so this this is the good one if you want one this is the one you should go with the three o's aren't that bad either but it's pretty much the vulcan from the taurus this one's going to be a powerhouse motor as far as the truck's concerned being so small and lightweight than having this big four liter engine in it especially paired behind a five speed with the fiberglass step side bed i bet this little thing would roll its towing capacity is probably pretty decent too. The truck looks to be pretty clean. Looks like it's had a radiator put in it at some point. That's pretty common. But really clean under here. And Tim fired it up earlier on jumper cables, which so the engine's good. It's the rear end, just like the guy said. So if you swapped you out another rear end in this truck, you'd have a nice little Ford Ranger Splash Edition. I'm not sure what they sell for. You really don't see enough of them around here anyway for me to get like a good idea of what they're worth. Um, but we'll probably end up getting a rear end put in this truck just because, once again, that's going to make it a whole lot more sellable. And then I have noticed it hit the bug when it come off the thing and pushed that edge of the bumper down. So I'll try to fix that back up too. So between that bumper and then putting a rear end in it, that would make this truck functional. Good looking little truck though. If I didn't already have my 88, I'd like to have this one, but I, I don't have a need for two trucks. Even though this one's got a better motor, and a stick shift I'm not a big fan of the step sides and this one's two-wheel drive and I've really gotten use of that four-wheel drive that's in mine not as in like off-roading I just like knowing that it's there if I need it so like a safety net but anyway folks there you go we were talking about splashes the other day in the comments on my truck and guess what here it is we had one that's aluminum on the back left uh, but anyway yep we thank you all for watching drop a comment down below and let us know what you think do you guys still see splash ranger trucks where you are oh here's another thing for the guys way up hey, on the way up north concrete not on the ground look at the non-existent rust look how clean this thing is It's had a kettle to convert or delete.
See how clean this thing is, folks? Look at that. Just a little bit of surface rust. You can still knock all these bolts loose. Exhaust hangers. Look at the brake lines coming across the rear end. Nothing. She's just clean as can be. As far as the yelling in the background, there's a bunch of idiots who aren't putting their shreddable steel on the concrete slab that's made for shreddable steel. You tell them to dump it on the concrete slab as far back as they can get it, and yet they decide to put it all on both sides of it, or in front of it in the driving path. So, uh, you can't win them all, I guess. But we thank you for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the 94 Ford Ranger Splash Edition. And uh, also, I got another late 80s Ford Ranger in. That's from the Hames Twins. Guys, if you're watching, thanks for the parts truck. And they just showed up with my other parts truck, also from the Hames Twins. So thanks again, guys. We'll catch y'all in the next one. Any last words? Happy trails. Happy trails.